everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week what's popping and dropping is a peacock pop-up card. I just think he turned out so cute and colorful. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this today. And it's pretty simple to put together. So why don't we go ahead and head over to Design Space and I'll show you how to create this card and we'll go ahead and get started. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we're here in Design Space, why don't we go to Shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make that circle 1.834 by 2.046. We'll rotate it 180 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.014 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to go get a circle. We're going to make that circle 1.889 by 1.864. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.639. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on well. Let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make the square 0 0.077 by 1.178. Let's rotate it 327.57 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.057 and the Y at 3.291. Then let's right click, duplicate, flip, flip horizontal. Then we're going to make sure it's rotated 32.4243 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.671 and the Y at 3.322. Then let's grab it all and then go down to the bottom in our layers panel and click on weld. Now this piece here we're going to right click, duplicate. Then we are going to adjust it to 0 0.819 by 1.085. We're going to place the X at 1.25 and the Y at 1. Then this piece here, we're going to duplicate. We are going to place the X at 1.019 and the Y at 2.271. Then let's right click, duplicate it again. And we're going to place this one, the X at 1 and the Y at 1.934. Then once we have everything, let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 0 0.096 by 4.86. We're going to place the X at 1.615 and the Y at 1.421. Then let's grab all of these pieces here. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on wheel. And then we should have this solid shape here. Right click, duplicate this shape. And we are going to adjust it. 0 0.476 by 0 0.631 and then you are going to need 14 of these total. You'll also need 14 of these total but before you duplicate these let's put this in the center and then you can duplicate it so it'll all be together. So um, let's right click and duplicate this peach piece again and we just need to resize it. We're going to resize it to 0 0.374 by 0 0.496. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 0 0.303 by 0 0.303. And that's just going to fit right inside of that teardrop. Then we can duplicate that yellow circle and we're going to adjust it to 0 0.251 to 0 0.251. And then the blue piece will sit inside of the yellow piece. And then you can group this together. And then set it inside of your purple piece like so. But once we have these three grouped together, let's right click, uh, duplicate. And then this piece we're going to set inside of the purple piece. And this is if this one will be if you want to do a second row of the pretty feathers. Then we can group this piece together. And you're going to duplicate it 14 times. And then if you want to do the second row of feathers, group it together and then duplicate it 14 times. 
and then we can go ahead and move these two pieces aside the two shapes we're going to get a circle we're going to make that circle 6.585 by 5.231 we're going to place the x at 1.674 and the y at 1.783 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get an oval we're going to make that oval 2.377 by 0 0.883 we're going to rotate it 30 we're going to rotate it 303.3 .3 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.33 and the Y at 5.455. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that circle to 2.354 to 0 0.875. We're going to rotate it 317.02 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.055 and the Y at 4.957. Then we're going to right click, duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 2.232 by 0 0.763. Rotate it 325.28 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.441 and the Y at 5.054. Then let's right click, duplicate it one more time. We're going to make it 2.336 by 0 0.48. We're going to rotate it 339.98 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.382 and the Y at 4.0. 0.491. Then let's grab all four of those pieces and group them together. Group together. Let's right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust it a little in size. We're going to make it 2.58 by 2.999. Let's rotate it 51.92 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 2.264. We're going to go to shapes. We're going to get another oval. And we're going to make it 2.377 by 0 0.883. We're going to rotate it 47.42 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.251 and the Y at 1.616. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 2.354 to 0 0.875. Rotate it 53.18 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.981 and the Y at 1.546. Then let's duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 2.232 by 0 0.763. Rotate it 67.46 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.563 and the Y at 1. Then let's duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 2.336 to 0 0.942. Rotate it 76.14 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.118 and the Y at 1.205. Then we'll duplicate it again. We're going to make it 2.165 by 0 0.721. Let's rotate it 95.17 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.054 and the Y at 1.069. Then we'll duplicate it again. We're going to make it 2.354 by 0 0.875. Rotate it 97.38 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.339 and the Y at 1.335. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 2.232 by 0 0.763. We're going to rotate it 105.64 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.697 and the Y at 1.245. Then we can duplicate it again. We're going to make it 2.336 by 0 0.948. Rotate it 124. We're going to place the X at 5.749 and the Y at 1.77. We're going to make the next one 2.336 by 0 0.948. We're going to rotate it 335.54 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.101 and the Y at 2.11. Then the next one we're going to make 2.232 by 0 0.763. We're going to rotate it 350.24. We're going to place the X at 6.201 and the Y at 2.873. Then we're going to duplicate it. 
adjust it to 2.354 by 0 0.875, rotate it 354.75 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.326 and the Y at 3.361. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to place, we're going to adjust it to 2.377 by 0 0.883. We'll rotate it 12.22 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.213 and the Y at 3.882. Then let's duplicate it one more time. We're going to make it 2.336 by 0 0.948. Rotate it 14.77 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.402 and the Y at 4.646. Then let's duplicate it again. We're going to make it 2.232 by 0 0.763. Rotate it 34.44 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.307 and the Y at 5.059. Then let's duplicate it again. We're going to make it 2.354 by 0 0.875. Rotate it 42.7 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.837 and the Y at 4.977. And the last one, we're going to make 2.377 by 0 0.883. We're going to rotate it 56.42 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.876 and the Y at 5.462. Then what we can do is grab all of these circles and ovals. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then we should have a piece that looks like this. Then once we have that piece done, we're going to adjust it to 7.046 by 5.873. We're going to make sure our X and our Y is at 1. Then we're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a score line. We'll make that score line 4.626. We're going to place the X at 4.68 and the Y at 1.834. Then we can duplicate that score line. We're going to adjust it to 3.976. Rotate it 312.43 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.668 and the Y at 3.6. Score line and we're going to make it 4.372. We're going to rotate it 47.57 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.697 and the Y at 3.347. Then we can duplicate that score line again. We are going to make it 3.63, rotate it 240.81 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.596 and the Y at 3.223. Then we'll get another score line. We are going to make it 3.89. We'll rotate it 300.73 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.352 and the Y at 3.025. Then let's grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Attach. Now let's go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.014 by 2.125. And what we're going to do is duplicate off of this piece here. So we're just going to leave it over here for now. Now I want you to go to Shapes. We're going to get an oval. We are going to make it 1.289 by 0.407. Rotate it 18.33 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 1.167. And then we're going to get another oval. We'll make it 0 0.968 by 0 0.696. Rotate it 108.52. Then we're going to place the X at 1.51 and the Y at 1. Then we can right click duplicate that oval. But we're going to adjust it to 0 0.972 by 0 0.764. We're going to place the X at 1.993 and the Y at 1.225. Then let's duplicate 
our um, piece over here. We're going to rotate it 23.09 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.436 and the Y at 1.478. Then we'll get another one of those squares from over here, 309.05 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.045 and the Y at 1.914. Then let's duplicate it again. We're going to rotate it to 25.94 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.463 and the Y at 2.524. Then let's duplicate it again. And then we're going to rotate it 196.36 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.324 and the Y at 3.389. Then we'll get another one of these squares. We are going to rotate it 118.74 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.483 and the Y at 2.443. Then let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 1.972 by 0 0.722. Place the X at 2.431 and the Y at 5.028. Then we're going to grab the square and this line right here and we'll do that by holding down our shift key then we're going to go down to our layers panel and click on slice then let's highlight our box go to contour and then we're going to get rid of that sliver right there we're going to highlight our stick here go to contour and then we're going to hide that piece right here and then let's grab this piece here that looks like an X. And then once we have it highlighted, go down to the slice and click on slice. And then we're just going to go down to highlight one, go to contour, and we're going to get rid of those two pieces that stick out down here. So this piece right here. So now we should have something that looks like this. Now we're going to highlight this piece and this piece here. And then we're going to go down to slice. And then we'll highlight the piece that's slanted. And then go down to contour. And then we're going to get rid of this piece here. And then we can grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on well. Go to shapes. We're going to get a half circle. We're going to make it 1.25 by 2.5. We're going to place the X at 7.774 and the Y at 0 0.02. Then we can right click duplicate. We're going to place the X at 7.625 and the Y at 0 0.004. Then we're going to grab them both, go down to slice. Then we should have this piece here. And we want to keep this piece. So now we're going to take this piece, right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust it to 1.288 by 3.951. We're going to rotate it 0 0.21 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.015 and the Y at 1.97. Our piece we welded together and then this U-shaped piece. And go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we're going to highlight the U-shaped piece, go to contour, and then we're going to hide those two end pieces there. So it should look like this. Then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on weld. And then we're going to highlight it, go to contour, hide all contour. Take this piece, we're going to right click, duplicate. Our green piece should still be the X at 1 and then the Y at 1.018. Then we're going to adjust that to 0 0.664 by 1.093. We're going to rotate it to 278.95 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.3 and the Y at 1.198.
then we're going to right click duplicate we're going to adjust it to 0 0.691 by 1.353 rotate it 90 degrees we're going to place the x at 1.19 and the y at 1. we're going to duplicate it again we're going to adjust it to 0 0.478 by 0 0.914 We'll rotate it 156.57 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.321 and the Y at 1.203. We're going to highlight this top piece and then our green piece. And we're going to go to Slice. And then we're going to click on our U piece again. And then we're just going to get rid of that little piece right here. And then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And we should have something that looks like this. Then let's highlight it, go to Contour, and, and then we're just going to click on all these little pieces up at the top here that's highlighted. We're going to make sure our yellow piece, the X and the Y, is at 1. We're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 0 0.667 by 0 0.336. We're going to place the X at 0 0.986 and the Y at 1.13. Then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then we should have a piece that looks like this. Now our piece should still be at the X and Y at 1. Then we're going to get this piece duplicated. We're going to make it 0 0.65 by 1.42. Rotate it 344.76 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.065 and the Y at 3.025. Then we're going to grab this piece and the U shape. We're going to go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we're going to highlight the U shape, go to Contour, and we're going to get rid of those two end pieces. So it should look something like this now. Then let's grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. Now let's get this piece. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.626 by 2.948. Let's rotate it to 74.08 degrees. Let's place the X at 1.993 and the Y at 1.505. Then we're going to get another one of these and duplicate it. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.401 by 1.148. We're going to rotate it to 34.96 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.078 and the Y at 2.08. What I'm going to do is grab our two purple pieces we just did and go to Slice. And then we're going to highlight the long purple piece, go to Contour, and then we're going to get rid of this end right here. And then go to our little purple piece and go to contour and we're going to get rid of this piece right here. And then let's grab it all and then go down to well. Then let's highlight it, go to contour and hide all contours. We should have this piece here. Let's go to shapes, let's get an oval. We're going to make it 0 0.915 by 0 0.879. We're going to place the X at 1.469 and the Y at 1. Then we'll duplicate that oval. We'll adjust it to 0 0.903 by 0 0.392. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.117. Then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Well. Highlight, go to Contour, and then we're going to get rid of this little piece right here. Hide the contour. So we have one solid piece. Now let's go to shapes. We are going to get a square. We are going to make it 1.458 by 4.585. We are going to place the X at 6.817 and the Y at 1.064. Then we're going to go to shapes and get a pennant. We are going to make it 1.656 by 2.5. We're going to place the X at 6.722 and the Y at 3.247. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we have this piece here. We're going to take this piece and we are going to adjust it to 0 0.279 by 0 0.421. 
we're going to rotate it 280.72 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.238 and the Y at 0 0.419. Then we are going to make sure our red piece, the X is at 1.139 and the Y at 0 0.028. Then we're going to grab the U-shaped piece and our red piece and we're going to click on slice. And then we can get rid of those extra pieces that it cut out for us. And so now we should have this. Now we're going to make sure our red piece here, the X and the Y is on one. Then what we're going to do is go to shapes, shapes, we're going to get a half circle. We're going to make that half circle 0 0.473 by 1.085. We're going to rotate it 126.32 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.028 and the Y at 7.757. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.48 by 1.11. We're going to rotate it 53.21 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.989 and the Y at 7.722. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. Then we're going to take this piece we just made. We're going to place the X at 2.206 and the Y at 4.683. Then we're going to grab our red piece and our yellow piece and go down to the bottom and click on slice and then we're going to highlight our red piece and go to contour and we're going to get rid of those two little triangles right there and then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on well and then we should have something that looks like this then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a circle. We're going to make that circle a one by one. Our X and our Y should still be at one for our red piece. And then our circle, we're going to place the X at 2.611 and the Y at 4.361. Then we're going to grab it all and click on well. And then we have this piece here. Our X and our Y should still be at 1. Then, uh, then we're going to go get us a square. We're going to make that square 692 by 0 0.341. We're going to place the X at 3.854 and the Y at 3.675. Grab that box we just made and we're going to grab our blue piece and then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on slice. And then we can get rid of those extra lines that it sliced. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make it 2.18. We're going to rotate it 282.77. We're going to place the X at 1.086 and the Y at 1.317. Then we're going to get another score line. We're going to make it 0 0.79. We'll rotate it 284.13 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.262 and the Y at 2.006. Then we'll get another score line. We'll make it 1.811. Rotate it 297.38 degrees. We'll place the X at 2.158 and the Y at 2.41. Then we're going to get another score line. We're going to make it 3.109. We're going to rotate it 1.4 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.748 and the Y at 3.262. Then another score line will make it 1.264, rotate it 125.55 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.698 and the Y at 5.653. Then we're going to duplicate that score line. We'll make it 1.164, rotate it 232. We're going to place the X at 3.909 and the Y at 5.598. Then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on attach and a half by six and a half card base. Make sure you score it in the middle. And we're going to use four sheets of pretty paper. They're going to be five by six point two five.
these are all the basic pieces you need to make this card don't forget to go up and name and save your project and add any additional pieces that you would like to add and then why don't we go ahead and get these pieces cut out and then I'll meet you at the craft table and show you how we'll put this together I'll see you there Okay guys, now that we're back at the craft table, what we can go ahead is work our score line and put our pretty paper on. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay guys, so we got our paper put on our card base. So now that we got our card base done, why don't we get our pieces out to our peacock and the pieces that go on top of our peacock. So if you use the either one of the files, these will already be in a circle so you can just place it on here where it should go. I wanted to use a certain kind of vinyl and didn't have enough to do the circle so I cut it individually, individually in a straight line. So anyways so you, if it's like this you're just gonna have to place them wherever you would like so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my peacock feathers and I did two sets of them one for the top and the bottom why don't we go ahead and do that So now that I have all of my pretty feathers done, what I'm going to do is put my vinyl onto this piece because I like to um, have it on here before I score, work these score lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we have our feathers on, we can work this. So we're gonna work the middle score line. And then this first line that's slanted, I like to take this here and just kind of push it into it And then go over it and then go the other way and go over it so we should be having something so we should have something that's looking like this now this part is going to fold down in like so so we can go ahead and work uh oh and work it that way now for this line I'm just gonna work each side And then after you've worked the bottom slanted line back and forth, down here at the bottom, right there, if you can see that, 
you have a triangle. We're just going to cut that out. So it should be looking like that now. So now it should fold up like so. Okay. And now that we have this piece on, what I'm going to do is place these feathers where it's not interfering with the score line so they don't get folded up. So you can place them wherever you'd like. And now that we have this piece done, we can go ahead and work on our head piece. So if you want, we can get the pieces for the eyes and the mouth. These little guys go on this U piece up here. These. Like so. And then this piece is his beak. And then we have his head done. Now to fold him, you can work the bottom score line and those are going to be a valley. And then the middle score line is going to be a mountain fold so so far this is what it's looking like and then this next score line is going to be a mountain fold also so now we have this And then we can work the score line down the middle of his head. So that's what that's looking like. And then we have one last score line right there by this eye. So let's work it. It is going to be a mountain fold too. Okay, so now that we have everything worked, this is how it's looking. Now, this piece here is going to fold down and you kind of have to bend it a little. And it's going, so I'm bending it like so. And it's going to go down in this flap. And it should squeeze in there if it, it's feeling a little snug and it's if it's bowed up a little like it's not going in just take and cut a little bit more on either side of it so it should be laying flat like so once you get it in there then once I have it in here on this flap right here that I'm pushing up I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue and hold it down for a minute you don't have to do a lot just a little okay so it's looking like this now what we're gonna do for the head is 
we're gonna push it in to make it a valley fold okay so see how I have the head pushed into the the V here that's what it looks like on this side and then once we do that we're gonna fold our head down like so then once we have it folded down we're gonna squish it in there and we're gonna make this top part here it's little score lines and I have my eyes up too high I'm gonna scoot these down okay so that's what it should be looking like and we've made two little score lines at the top of his head by pinching it then you can raise your head up like so Now, we're going to lift this edge right here and just put just a smidge of glue. And then you're going to push it, everything back down like so and kind of squeeze it together and give it a second to dry and there is our head We're almost done guys now is just deciding where you want to put your feathers and your head if you fold your piece up like this this piece and this piece is going to bump up into your score line okay now you just want to make sure your feathers aren't going past your card here. Now you'll just put glue, tape, whatever you're using on this flap right here on each side. So when you open it, it's going to look like so. Okay? So once you get it figured out where you want it placed, how high you want it, we can go ahead and put some glue or tape down. So that's what it's looking like. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this side now. So when you open it up, it should be looking like so. Okay. Now, you just need to decide where you want your head to go. So this score line, you want to line up with the middle of our score line of our card, right? And then you just put some glue on these tabs and I spread mine out just a little and if you're unsure use something that's not going to make it stick permanently and then this will fold up into the V of this part here So, I think I like mine about like that. Let's 
see if I can get you to see right there just where this U piece is about to touch this bottom piece here so we can hide this area so I'm going to take it like so I'm going to spread it out just a little you can see it's this is laying naturally I'm going to pull it out just a little I'm going to line this up in my score line And I'm going to give him a second to dry. So that's what it looks like. And then when we fold it up, it will just tuck right into each other. Isn't that so neat, guys? I just love the mechanics of this. So I'm going to go quickly finish mine up and then I'll be back to show you what my card looks like. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is what I came up for um, my card. I love how this peacock turned out. I think it is so beautiful. And actually another um, person from Cricut Design Space made it. Her name is Vanessa Anderson. I think she did such a beautiful job and I had to use it. And I just made um, this little sign over here that says beautiful friend and this is stamp it up um, paper that I did use and then we open it up and we see our handsome peacock isn't he just lovely I loved how he turned out guys and then of course on the back we have a place where we can write a message to someone and I just did some gold cardstock with a green piece on top do you guys know where a peacock goes if he loses his tail? To a retail store. Guys, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye!